Hey guys, Sonko here, playing Hunara on the Infernal Shrines, I think. Yes, I'm pretty sure these are the Infernal Shrines. And our team is... we've got a Cho'Gal, so... Yeah, that's the thing. Let's go. Ten seconds. Uh, yeah. Five. Luckily, we've got a better healer than them. And I can just, however, Brightwing does kind of do a bit of AoE healing, and can counter Lunara's uh, damage over time. In fact, most healers counter Lunara's damage over time, but it's the single target healers that are the most affected by it. Uh, but, okay, they're not there. So, my abilities are, I'm going to pick up nature's perspect natural perspective, which lets my trait uh, reveal an enemy while they are affected. And yeah. <clears throat> and I'm going to slow him down. And he should be dead. Good job, Zeratul. So, my passive is whenever I hit anyone with a damaging ability or with a basic attack, they take a stack of uh, nature's toxin, which deals increasing damage per stack and slowing him so that we can kill him. And now I'm leaving for mid. And, oh boy, uh, I'm dead. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I hoped they were going over this way since I saw them with the wisp. But, I guess not. Good job. That was actually a very good save. And, Skybound Wisp is currently bugged such that it does not actually see over obstacles. So instead I'm taking Dividing Wisp, which gives me a second wisp. My other favorite is the Time or er, Nimble Wisp. Or er, whatever. Which uh, lets me... How do you say? It increases the speed of the wisp. And, yeah, die, Murky. You deserve that. I uh, gotta move my wisp over here so that we've got some vision. And, uh, this should help secure the kill. Going to send out a wisp over there and splitting it off here, and that'll slow right, uh, Misha. Yeah. Sending the wisp back in. We do actually want to have this. So, uh, that was kind of silly. So, yay, Chogal! here with the save. And that splitting with still scouting out a little bit. And health boss is for some reason bottom. Uh, this was a like five minute queue because that's the same way for all of the damn uh, new heroes. But Lunar has a particular amount of hype surrounding her. <laughs> and the... Oh boy, lag. Um, and Lunar has even more hype behind her than normal. So that's a thing. And I'm gonna hit, get hit by that because of pathfinding. And Jogal is just gonna run straight through the fort. Okay, good. 
I'm going to take up siphoning toxins so that I don't need Uther to be focusing his heals on me. The forest fights and back. also so I don't have to lane with him in order to heal up. Was never your so, did I explain? No, I only explained my passive. Okay, my E is this wisp, which gives vision. My Q is a mini flame blast that does even less damage, but applies the nature's toxin. Taste my spear. And yay. <sighs> Screw you, Murky. Where's the excitement? And you're getting slowed and killed. Come on. Thank you. Okay, sorry for uh, breaking commentary. The forest fights back. And I'm gonna slow you down. Where's the excitement? And reveal. And that's dead. Aw, oh, damn. My wisp died to the tower from before I could, like, you know. Prevent it from or split it off. I'm. I think I is like Thornwood Vine for this map because it has a Wii. Also, it's got a decent range. So, yeah. <clears throat> also, if you look at the enemies' uh, little markers from my passive, which looks like leaves. You'll see that one of them disappears, and then the next, and the next. Uh, this is because the duration of the damage over time is not refreshed whenever you use, or apply it, rather. Excuse me. And instead, it is just... Okay. Then the Ah, uh, damn. That actually really sucked. And I think I can actually get this without much problem. And there we go. Ah. Uh, now you die. Haha. <laughs> Fucking murky. See, that's why I picked up Thornwood Pine, as well as for a little bit of poke and stuff. Gonna just hit this murky, and hopefully he dies. And he's gonna die to the toxin if he does not. Okay, never mind. Just gonna send my wisp over here, and then split it off to be over here. This should make our Rexar pretty safe. Uh, I'm gonna come and kill their Rexar. And I, by the way, I'm going to Shogal. I've been playing far too much Rexar. Jesus Christ. Oh. That was a terrible avoid prison. Good job. Uh, I'm coming. Don't worry. <clears throat> and gonna apply my poison and she's dead. Oh, look, thanks for the thing. Oh, by the way, uh, Lunara's attacks are delayed by her hopping. So, what you really want to do is, or what you really can do is, uh, and there we go. Got him. She said. She said. I'm out. Ah, uh, no. Yeah. Oh, that was so close. I'm out of mana. <sighs> so, we are doing quite well, and I'm not lagging to all hell. So, uh, let's see. Do we have any slows? Not really. So instead I'm just gonna take 
giant killer if they don't have any tanks. So there's, oh, they've got Rexar, but not really the best person for, uh, picking for a giant killer, because, yeah. Okay, well, <clears throat> gonna use that to help clear out these thingies, and, ah, okay, ah. Uh, Come on, attack Murky, please. Holy crap. Why was it targeting Misha? My mouse was nowhere near Misha. And gonna apply my W to make it so that and Kelthos could come in here and just utterly wreck me. Uh, applying my W again. Oh, nice. Very good wombo combo. I'm going to be uh, flanking around and going, well, with Murky as well, I guess. Let's go. <laughs> so, that went well. And now Cho'Gal can just finish this shrine, and meanwhile, I'll be just pushing this down. Uh, screw you, Murky. Fuck you and your piece of shit that hold. Come on. Um, and, nope. Uh huh. Nope. <laughs> and, you're dead. Murky dies. This is now my favorite hero. <laughs> As though it wasn't already. Uh, we really should be pushing with this, but... Oh, well, three of our five players are, so I guess that's good. Uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna increase the crippling spores slow even further. And sending out a wisp over here because I <coughs> have a feeling Rexar is trying to do something funny. Oh, yep, he was. So, here. Uh, and, oh, I missed. I missed with all of them. Good job, good job. I'm so pro at this game. Right. This was a five minute queue, as I said, and so don't expect our teams to be perfectly matched up with one another because it's actually not happening. Happening. Of course, this happens with every new hero, and also why I generally don't buy the new hero. Uh, something my wisp out. Nope, it's dead. Oh well. So, just gonna clear out the wave. <laughs> Murky gets obliterated. Yay. Gonna slow down their bright wing. Just to be generally annoying. And... Uh, yeah. Blowing down the Misha, uh, means that... Uh... He can't stun anyone. And going to be applying toxins. <clears throat> Wolf. And ha. Huh. Death. Uh yeah. I'm gonna kill him. Even if it's only five seconds. With as easy as he is to kill, um, may as well, because it is still a quarter of the death of a hero. It really should be like a half, because he gets an instant respawn, more or less, but whatever. 
Uh, I've got my wisp on off cooldown, which should never happen. I'm going to split it off here. And wow. mm, this is really risky. Sending my poisons out. Uh, okay, um, I'm gonna die here if I don't get help. Looks like we both took the crippling spores. Uh, no, she took greater spell shield. So, uh, yeah. And we just got the Punisher, yes. So, that's good. Hmm. Gonna just hit Lunara, I guess. Very slightly. Okay, I'm helping our thingy. Uther. Let's go. Playing my wisp off now. And just gonna kill them. I didn't see that Cho'Gal had Chain Bomb on him. That was my bad. Uh. So. Look, this is looking quite like it's gonna be game. <clears throat> and you're dead. I'm going to increase the speed and range of this by a lot, as well as increasing my passive uh, vision. Fuck you. <sighs> Murky should have a much longer death timer. He's just a pain in the ass. But anyway, this also increases my character's vision by 35%, which means I basically have the entire screen, if I've got it centered on me, to see enemies. So you'll be seeing, or I'll be seeing, things before they see me, unless they are blocked by obstacles. Which is why I pick up I would pick up Skybound Wisp, you know, if it actually was not bugged and did see over obstacles. Ha 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 ha. That's really sad. That's really sad. Okay, I'm coming. Ah, uh, damn. That sucked. Oh well. We're still in a commanding lead. Let's just sit here and get the... Oh, look. Uther got the revive on death. I'm checking for egg. It seems to be around here. So... No, it's not. But let's split off and take it to there. Just to make sure. Oh, it's there. And... Mm. Uh, this is a bad idea. I say. <laughs> and... Yay! Uh. Just... God damn it. Get away from me. Uh, yeah. This kind of sucks. Ugh. Gonna send this in, and then split it off, so that they have to kill two of them. And, gone. that should be, like, a lot of damage on their Uther, er, right wing. Good, uh, Divine Shield. I'm gonna take well now, since, you know, I'd like some mana. And, cool, cool. Huh. Ah, screw you and your chain bomb. Fuck you, Marky. 
Oh, good job on taking the... Well, I guess. That actually sucked. Oh, okay. Good thing that we've got their keeps all down and they've not even got one fort. And they had to back off. Uh, let's take Mercs. Since we are like a little bit behind. Er, not behind, but could really use like some bonus pressure while our healer is down. Meanwhile, because of a trait I picked up earlier, I am going to be having, in, how we say, some god damn it, fucking piece of shit, fucking murky. <sighs> well, we know his eggs over here. Unless he moved it. <sighs> I fucking hate Murky. Just an invulnerable piece of shit that has no respawn timer. Really should just be removed from the game. But whatever, whatever. Doesn't matter. And, yeah, I'll go over there as soon as I spawn. Which is going to be never. Careful, chain bomb. Uh, good ult. Very good ult. Is our guy going magical? No, some sort of weird hybrid. Oh well, I guess it works. What's this? Ah. Uh, Marky. Just Marky. So, just gonna kill them all. And, oh, something of note. Ah. Uh, minions and mercenaries seem, er, minions seem to only be able to be affected by a single stack of this. Nature's Toxin. Uh, every... Yeah. Only a single stack. So you're gonna have to keep hitting them if you want to keep your dock up on them. Our team is distracting them quite well down there. Which is going... Which is pretty good, as we're going to have a Punisher who will just destroy them, even if our team does not manage to do so. Oh, and catapults. Good job. So I'm sending a wisp out here. Murky's mid, so I really don't want to face check anything just yet. <clears throat> and, uh, just... Well, I'm gonna wait for the shields to wear off before sending out any more of my dots on Kel'Thas anyway. So, ah uh, yeah, just can't really do anything there because of the whole uh, them being uh, overpowering us. Yes. Holy crap, I cannot talk at all today. But our Punisher is going to win here. As predicted. Uh, good job, team. And have a fun day. Bye.